All right. I think we are live. Check. Let me check. My phone will never load. Let's see. 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 Oh, nice. We're good. Do you get service off the Wi-Fi around here? The Wi-Fi? Yeah, when you're off it. Off the Wi-Fi, you're saying? Yeah, around here. I get none around here. Like mm, this specific no, area, like yeah. West Yarmouth. Right, right off West Yarmouth, where we yeah. live, is like a dead zone. Yeah. It is. It's no good. Um, all right, let's get into it. And boom, we are rolling, folks. Another edition beyond average Thursday, March 28th, 2024, as we are coming to you. Hope you're having a great day wherever the hell you are, whenever you are watching this. They usually say listening to this, watching yeah. this, right? Because this is now a video only show, you're right? Exclusively on the Kirk Menahan Show Network. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You seem a little tired, you all right? I'm a little tired today. Yeah, you're a little yeah. down today, too. Yeah, why did you say that? I don't know. You seem a little frustrated today. No. no I don't mean with no. me. I mean in general. Never with me. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? No? Yeah. No, I don't think so. All right. All right. all right, good. Why do you say that, though? Just I'm just pointing out what I saw. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I know. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. You're good. I'm good. I'm great. Yeah, you ready I'm for great. Portland? Yeah. Excited for a fun. good weekend? Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, me too. I can't wait. That'll be a good time. Excited for the show. Yeah. I feel fun. like he maybe has forgiven them, maybe. I so with Kirk being at the game tonight, this is what just guy uh, sorry, Jeff D. Lowe just tweeted this a minute ago, uh, right before we got on. I think him being there, I don't think if it was disaster was striking right now, you know, I don't think they would do the show today and I don't think he would be there. So what whatever disaster was happening, it seems like they've smoothed it out a little bit. I don't know what it was. I don't even really want to speculate what it was. I hope he tells us. I think he's going to. That's yeah. why. On, on Saturday, we're going to find out. So there's really, you know, it, it's some, something to do with the preparation for the show. That's really all we know, right? Some sort of preparation for the live show, I would imagine. Whether it's actual content related or, you know, maybe it's Compared the Compared to 29 vendor. grand. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he said. But, but that, you know, it, it could, that could have been a little just in the moment yeah. frustration, you know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the show. We'll talk about everything. People can probably see at the bottom there. It says the BAP line with a phone number followed by it. We're going to take some calls if you people want to call in. Um, probably in, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I don't yeah. really want to do it right, right away. But we'll jump into some calls before we get out of here. Um, probably going to be a quicker show today. Okay. Uh, I don't really have too too much for the people as far as uh, the personal the, the personal life's disaster. I don't really want to talk about it. I was no. going to come on here and talk about it, but I, I just uh, I don't want to do that right now. I just <laughs> I don't think that's a great idea. Uh, you know, last time I did that, it didn't go well. I'll just say that. Yeah, maybe to, maybe I'll just maybe refrain, digest today. it a little bit. Well, that's well, exactly right. That's you know? that's kind of the thing. I would like to digest it a little. Yeah, bit, there you so. go. That's that's smart. You smart. can give it to the people. Just you know, you don't have to give it right away. That's a good point, you know. You got digest it. that for a second. That's actually then, a really good point. Yeah, you just if things happen right away, you, you don't I think have to like break a, news to them. A trick. I think that's a key for me in life. Maybe just yeah. slow down. You don't have to be so reactionary. I think that's that's something I should work on. You're a bad boy. That's fast. <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> the fuck up. Uh, all right. Come eleven o'clock Saturday night after mm. the show. Will he be satisfied with the producers oh, and their man. efforts? Will he be? Will someone be fired and or no, will he be just disappointed? I, I like, think what, what is the what, A, B, or C? I think they're pulling it off. He says he's, he's going to be happy. Yeah, I think so. I like, think so too. I, I mean, I feel like he's really laid it out there. He laid it for whatever happened. And then having this whatever happened happen, I feel like has amplified it quite a bit. No? But you yeah. feel like they should kind of be feeling the pressure. Yeah. It, you know, that's, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I, I feel like in a good way almost. You would hope. Like, I feel like this fuck up might have been a good thing for them. Because ha had it happened in the moment, like live or whatever it was. Yeah, like, obviously. That yeah, could have been. That would have been a disaster. Yeah, fireable. You right. know what I mean? Right. No, so right. I, hopefully that was like a, you know, little wake up call right before and they get it right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, no faith, it sounds like. That wasn't a, that. We'll see, huh? I, I, it's not that I don't have faith in them getting it right. I just don't think that that necessarily means... You know, I, I think the show production wise, they're going to get everything right. But that doesn't mean he's going to be happy with their performance on the air. It doesn't mean, you know, I, 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 I feel like he's not. There I could mean, be based off of this week and what has already happened. I think they need to have not a perfect game, but they got to they got to be throwing, a, you know, close to a no hitter here. I, I, I disagree. Really? I, I feel like their no hitter just really, really has to be on the technical that's kind Live of more. That's, like, I guess that's like more you, said, I mean, well, you said on air. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't think they're on air necessarily. Ha like, I don't think he's relying on them for any on air. I mean, maybe not like not relying, but you know, I don't think he's necessarily looking to them to, you know, build the. No, I know what you mean. I guess yeah. I meant more of like the if a disaster happens, yeah. right? If, if, like, you, know, you just can't have a small screen. Out, it can't have 38 yeah. cokes. You right. know, like it can't have an entire food bill. Like they just have to get the live show stuff correct. I mean, this is stemmed all the way from Dave. 
Like yeah. he just wants the producers now that he is too to get the live shows right. Yeah, you made this point to me off the air. You were like, isn't this kind of why Dave got fired? Yeah. Like yeah. essentially, this is like the last straw, the the small screen and the not being prepared for the live show. So your first real big live show, you were saying you you have to nail it. You, you, nail. you gotta you gotta make sure everything's, you know, yeah. I, I completely agree. This is it. Completely agree. So I, I got faith in them though. I, I Super Bowl. This is the Super Bowl this for is the Justin producers. Trudell's Super Bowl. Yes. This is Jack Coleman's Super Bowl. This is Jack Coleman. Well, what's, what, what will Coleman's big event be? Like the beauty pageant? Uh, America's top model. Yeah. So Justin's yeah. got the Super Bowl. So this is this is Coleman's like uh I don't even know. What, what's a big event I that girls one? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a royal wedding. Good. It's like his royal wedding. Come on, dog. Go lie down, dog. <laughs> We we uh, the neighbor's dog is in heat and uh, it's been a fucking it, disaster. I mean, our dogs are just dying to go uh, to go fuck her. Yeah, cool. it's not great. All right, go sit down. You both gotta go sit down. Come on, I'll go to get them. Yeah. Oh, uh, the 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 price of having children. I'm not gonna lie. I am proud of the way this place looks for two slob men that live here and two giant dogs i take pride in it i really do because i think most people would expect a lot worse don't you agree with that most people if they stepped in this house just a random person they would and you told them who lived here especially if you told them about us who we are and then you told them that what type of dogs we had they would not expect it to look this put together i feel like we do good yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah I, think it's, I think it's pretty good i mean I, i'm not i'm not saying if you were to compare us to somebody like wow those people are really neat you'd come to our house and be like wow they're really neat but like right. you're saying, for you laid it all out. Yeah, yeah. You laid two it all giant out. slobbery dogs. Yeah, come on, like, we do pretty well. We do decent. Right? That's right. That's right. Uh, what else is going on with the show and the network in general? Actually, I want news. Oh, good. There's so, big news for the network. Break it. Um, Tim McCann is. So is that happening? I, I mean, I, I don't know what the name was. I, I it wasn't my guy, Tim McCann. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, would you an original to fan, right? You'd say an original beyond average fan. That's what I mean. Well, what's an original beyond average fan? Is it someone? He was pretty early. He was he was early, but it was when we got associated with KMS. It was well, when we were like fair to him though. Of course, yeah, I mean, not, was, out of the KMS slight. world, he was an original. He was the original. I think. Yeah, yeah. For Montante was calling in pretty early too, yeah. as like Ned Snark. Remember? Yeah, he's pranking us. VD was always cool. VD was in there. Manners early. was pretty early too. Yeah, Manners as well. Yeah. So yeah, no. If Tim if Tim's on the network, we will promote it. We'll have Tim on. Tim yeah. was talking about potentially calling in tonight too. So if he. If he I'm wants to call in, you know, we're happy to have him. I'm interested in what his show is going to be. He uh, alluded to me life too. hacks almost. Me too. So. Hopefully, he can tell us more. Yeah. I uh, I would I would love to hear more about it. Tim and Ken, he's a he's a funny guy. He's the first Minifan I met. So you don't? I'm not a Minifan. Well, I mean, outside of the cool. people that we know here, he was the first non-person I knew. Yeah, yeah. Probably um, for you too, right? Um, yeah, probably. It was when we went up that day. Let me think. One Tim. To that day that we went to the studio the first time for Sako, you're saying, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we met Tim right before we went in, right? He's outside, yeah. I'm trying to think if I, yeah, that's probably it. That's like, that was, that's probably it. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, we don't, I, and then we, we met Gus. We met Gus and Daver. Yeah. And Daver was there that day. Yeah. Holy shit. That yeah. is a, wow. That was years ago. That's weird. We, I had lunch with Gus that day. Yes, we did. And Daver. And Dave. Cullinane. And in Cullin, oh my God, Cullinane. Yeah. That's right. Oh my God. That was a, that was what, 2021? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It was July 2021. It was yeah. like right around 4th of July. I remember I was working that night. It was a Friday night and it was like July 3rd. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was that's funny. And we, <laughs> we went to lunch with Dave. It's <laughs> so funny. I forgot all about that. Who uh Robin Madawaska? Madawaska Rob, yeah. 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 Madawaska Rob. Yeah. Is he still around? I don't know. I don't like I don't see him while, on yeah. like Twitter much or it's been a while. Is Madawaska Rob around? Anybody? Anybody in the chat there? I don't know. Big Gorgie guy, if you're wondering. Mick, do you read the chat? No, I usually don't, pal. All right. We're going to do the calls in a minute. I don't know if people already saw this. We're going to do the calls in a little bit. Um, just give me a minute. All right. We'll, we'll get we'll get to you. Relax. What do you, what do you guys have? Eager to fire off takes? Jesus Christ. Um, the Shaddix. I got to talk about the Shaddix in the network. You're, you're the Shaddix? Yeah, I'm not caught up to date, but yeah, I'm very well aware. Of oh, the Shaddix. The Shaddix might be my unofficial parents at this point, the way they were talking about my life and my relationship. Uh, <laughs> Tom thinks that I'm crazy to let Jess go to Cancun. And I couldn't agree with him more. I, I really couldn't. Tom Shattuck is my new father. Good guy to have in your corner. He's my father. Yep. Um, I, honestly, though, he was laying it out there. It's the, it's the sex capital of the world, the hookup capital of the world. It's spring break, this, that, and the other. And then so then, so then uh, someone goes, 
well, they're going with the parents. And he goes, exactly. They hate Mick. They want her to fuck somebody. And I was like, that's a great point. <laughs> that's a great point. <laughs> that's a really good point. <laughs> the parents are setting me up, dude. The parents are He's just trying to get you out of it. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Yes. <laughs> fuck, man. What was that crappy TV show that we used to watch when we were younger that did that? Remember? It was like on MTV Cribs or Next. You know, it was during that era, like Pit My Ride era. Yeah. It, there was the... The, the parents had a shitty boyfriend that their daughter or son was dating. Parental control. Something. They'd watch the I dates. So. Like the, the, the shitty boyfriend yeah. would sit down with the parents yeah. and then they'd watch the daughter go out. It was fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> Those early MTV, MTV shows yeah. were so weird. Insane, so dude. Weird. So weird. They really were. Oh, my God. What was the other one? Date My Mom? Which one was that? I don't remember Date My Mom. You don't remember Date My Mom? No. Come on. Date my mom. No, I don't remember that at all. You go on a date with the mom. It's a porn. Yelly, no, 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 no. You literally would go on a date with the mom. And if the mom liked you, you could like date the daughter. I, MTV. I don't remember that one. Come on. No, really? No. Oh, Wait, yeah. you, look date at the mom. error on that. What's the year on that? When did date my mom come out? It's going to be like past MTV. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, that's prime. Mc, that's prime. Yeah, Mark's that yeah. fourth, fifth grade. Yeah, like, like yeah. yeah. Are you kidding Trash me? TV. No. I don't remember that at all. Oh. It's great yeah. trash TV. But Tom was saying that if she goes to Cancun, that I'm an idiot. And Alice was like, well, I mean, that's just, he has no right to tell her <laughs> what he should do with, uh, or what she should have the relationship with her family and this, that, and the other. And I think people need to realize that I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to get in the way of have my girlfriend having a good relationship with her parents. I just am at the point. Listen, no, the, no, this is, this is my thing. The I don't big, know, Jim. I know, Jim. This is the biggest thing. It's, I just thought we were at a point where we just travel together. Again, I get that. People like Kirk will mock that. Like, like yeah. the plane's gonna blow up if I if she goes years? alone. How many years are we at? Seven years. Yeah. So I mean, I would agree that you you would feel like you're at that point. Okay. You're, uh, you're, you're you're going where? Oh, we're not. Go you're going. Okay. So that was I, the I, point. Get, yeah. I get. I get. I get how that would. The go. reaction was yeah. like, "Oh, you're going. Like, yeah. we're not going." And then it was like, "Oh, well, I mean, there's only there's only one spot." And, and this is true. This is this isn't. I don't doubt somebody. That, somebody usually somebody's not like, going now, and she's going in replace of. This was what I found out as well. And then I'm like, okay, well, I, I could care less about the trip being paid for by somebody. I'll pay for myself and all of that. I don't yeah. care. But it was the fact that you were okay with being like not even thinking about it, yeah. you know. Yeah, and then crazy. it's like a family. Then I realized it's like a family event. It's a wedding, and it's all that. And I'm a like, wedding. well, it's some sort of like celebration, right? What do you mean? No, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't. Are you some no, sort of I family. Don't I don't either. Means. I don't either. Fuck. Fuck. Fine. No. But it's some sort of like celebration, right? And so I'm like, well, if I if my family was having a celebration and a lot of people are going, you would definitely be going. Like yeah. definitely if it was if if it was like intimate parents, four people, and like, you know, I get that. But if it's like a big thing, I feel like I should be there. You're the only, I'm the black sheep, is what it is. No, I, I'm I'm hated. And I asked her, I was like, do they hate me? And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay, so they hate me. You think it's because you're white? What do you mean? You think it's because you're white? No, I don't think. I, I, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I certainly hope not. Um, but like, maybe I don't know. Maybe I think. It's what probably, do you mean? I think it's probably more just. Uh, I'm a dickhead and like I'm annoying. <laughs> I would. Shit. I would probably assume that. Yeah, I would say that's probably safer to safer to say. You think you'd beat him? You think you'd beat your dad in a fight? No, I couldn't beat. I, well, he is not a big guy. But what do you think you think you take him? Being my, I started the show saying we're not going to talk about my personal life. We're not. Now we're at the point where <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, dad? dude? The fuck. <laughs> Put out a poll. Could Mick beat up Jess's dad? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. And I saw you, by the way. Scumbag move. I'm, glad. I I'm so glad. Stirring something up? Oh, I'm <laughs> so glad, dude. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah. You you don't share that much stuff on Instagram. I think that's safe to say, right? Oh, yeah. That one I had Do you to. share a lot of stuff on no, Instagram? I no, I don't. No, so, I don't. So this scumbag, I never see him post on Instagram. And all of a sudden, the first thing on his story is like me talking about Jess and my relationship. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was like, dying. what is this crap? Some post from KMS that he reposted. It was hilarious. That's why. It was a really oh, funny segment. Jesus Christ. That was, it, was, it was money. It was not good. It was, what's up, dog? We got a dog situation right now. This is just, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going to open up the phone lines for the people. Uh, the phone's open if someone wants to call. By the way, and we're not doing this the normal way, so I can't stack the calls. So if you you get the mail timer, you might have to keep calling because, like I said, normally we have to, okay, I can stack the calls, but I'm doing this in a different manner right now. <clears throat> let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is this is this is just this unprofessional as it gets, folks. Unprofessional as it gets. This is just unbelievable. 
It's a home studio. Yeah, that's Happens true. Happens to the best of them. Yeah, that's true. That's uh-huh. true. Uh, they also said, my unofficial parents, the Shaddix, they were saying that seven years, mm-hmm. you have to have a ring at that point. On your end. That's what Tom said. He was like, he's a fucking idiot. Like, Why not from he, her? He, it's 2024. No, I wouldn't say yes. Okay. I would you would immediately deny? Yes. Yeah, I would never say yes if a girl proposed to me. Another. Oh. Hello. 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 Hi. Who's this? Hello. My name's Electra. Hello. Hello. Turn your. Okay. Hi. All right. We're Who's doing this? this. We're doing this. We're doing the echo calls. We're doing the echo calls. We're doing that. We're doing the echo. We're doing the fake calls. Is that what we're doing? Okay. You guys, you get one more. You get one. You get one more. Do it again. Do another prank call. Do it. Do it again. God damn it! I got you. Yeah, I got mad there. I was like, I was like, why? Why? Why am I here? Why am I here? Damn it. Damn it. All right, you getting shut down? Shut down! Shut down! <laughs> nope, not receiving calls. Do not disturb. Off. Smell you. Good job. <laughs> Fucko. <laughs> Ugh. Any suspects? Ruin it for everybody. You ruin it for everybody who wants to call. It's not just you. It's not just you. You fuck. <laughs> Ugh. The Shaddix, they were saying that seven years is too long. I, do you think seven years is a W? Is it, uh, is, is, t- you know, you have to be dating somebody? I mean, you have to be married to somebody by that long? Yeah. You're probably there. Really? Probably there where you're like, you should probably have a decision. Well, I said, I mean, we've, bro- we broke up for months of time like, and like, we, we, it's been, it's been, there's, this has been all, this has been all smooth sailings. Yeah, I know, but like, you know, you, I, I'm not saying you have to be married, but you should probably know by now. You should probably know. Yeah. Okay, that's different. That's a fair thing. Yeah, I mean, if you're not ready, because like, you know, at points in your life, like, yeah, but if, if you're like, yeah, no, you're it, like, if you're not just figuring it out still, like, if you're like, oh, you know, I, you know, time, we still got to see how this goes. Like, I don't know if I like you yet. Then they, that'd be insane. That would, they, you know, seven years, that's insane. Like, make up your mind. Mm. But mm. if you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say if that is crazy. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. Yeah, keep, continue. <laughs> I was gonna say if you're, you know, worried about like, you know, financial things like let's move in together first or like a more, more That's like goal oriented. Right. Yeah, that, is, goal. that would be more normal. Uh-huh. Like, you know, you want to hit the list. But if you're still wondering if that is the person, you should fucking probably figure it out. Yeah, I agree. seven years in, maybe make a decision. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Oh uh, man, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> I can't. This Come dog, on. this dog just losing it, man. Yeah, this dog losing yeah, he's it, hurt. man. He just he wants some puss more than anything in his life right now. Give him, a, give him some break. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, predictions for Portland. Do you who any? How about Friday night? Are we getting a drunk minifan performance? Or are we getting somebody who? I hope not. Disappoints themselves. So we get another sexual assault. Well, there's definitely going to be we get, drunk uh, minifans, but yeah, I'm saying any sloppy performances. I think it's going to be a clean show. It's Easter the next day. No, I'm saying the Friday night before. Or yeah, well, either way, it's Easter weekend. You know, people will probably take it a little easier, right? No, people are gonna get <laughs> fucked up. People are gonna get fucked up. Probably people right. are gonna be fucked up. It's gonna be especially now that it's at a place where people have been to before. It's in the middle of Portland. That's uh that's that's gonna be people are gonna a lot be, of minifans fans around, right? Yeah, I think just in the area that live around this. I mean. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. yeah, I think most minif oh, I wouldn't say most, but I think probably the largest number of minifans fans probably live in the northeast. Yeah. You know, New Hampshire, Maine, Mass. Yeah, I imagine it'll be a bit of a booze fest at least Friday, right? Yeah. Are, do you do you plan on getting a little banged up? No, no, no. Why yeah. are you? Eh, I don't think so. I don't know if I get banged out. I'll have a couple of drinks with the people. Yeah, hello? I mean, I might have a drink. Yeah. No, at the show, I probably, I, you know, I don't really like to, I don't really like getting banged up at live events. I'm not a big drinker. Really? I don't think so. I mean, I like, well, because I do, I just fucking do it. Yeah. You aren't, you're really, uh, you, you have, you have alcoholic tendencies, but you're not alcoholic. I would say so. Like, you, but like that sounds really bad because you don't drink often, really at all. At all. And you don't really make a fool of your. You don't. No. You don't have a big no, event gonna, that happens. I'm gonna it's drink like, sixteen shots. Yeah, you get fucked up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't really do the one or the other. Yeah, that's true. I I, I am pretty proud of the way I can drink when I do drink. Yeah. I don't really often make too much of a fool of myself more than I already am. I don't enjoy having a beer at all. See, I do. I don't. I don't get like anything out of that. I enjoy like coming home sometimes from like a long day yeah. and whatever's on, and just having a beer and like eat lunch or you know eating eating an early dinner or something. Yeah. Like a bartending shift. Yeah. That was like my favorite thing to do after like a day shift. Yeah. 
dealing with people all day. You're watching people drink coming off the beach. You're just it's like, like all day. You're like, God damn, I want to just, I would love to just have one beer yeah. and hang out. Yeah, I guess I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't think that's crazy. No, I don't know. Um, but I, I would say for our, you know, the favorites, the odds on favorites for people <laughs> to make a fool of themselves. Not a fool, but to you be have a favorite pan- of the people you're saying. And then Montante is going to be <laughs> up there. Right? He, there's a rumor. I mean, someone said that he spilled a drink on himself last time. I thought it was urine, but, but <laughs> I thought but, it was vomit, but, but maybe it could be either or yeah. we don't deal his choice. No, it's not going to be Montante. He's, he's, he's much more uh, put together than I knew back then. He's a veteran alcoholic. Exactly. Yeah. He knows what he's, he can handle himself. That's yeah. right. That, that's, that's, I don't know. Alcoholics. <laughs> that might be a little, that might be a little strong. <laughs> uh, anyone you're looking forward to seeing? Um, is Tim going? He, you, you love Tim and Kane. You want to sleep with him? Yeah, no, <laughs> he's on the show today. <laughs> oh, I mean, shit. that's why he's fresh in the memory. Um, I haven't seen Tim since that. You know, it's been a while. Yeah, Tim Matante. Yeah. Anyone I mean, else? I mean, I don't know. I'm not really. T- I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I haven't. I haven't met too many people outside of like Montante and like Dave. <laughs> Colin? Yeah, like that. I wonder that, if that, that group going. That I went with you guys that time. That is Colin going? Um. I'll text him right now. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's find out. Let's Call find him. Out. <laughs> he didn't answer my text. Are he hates you? Yes. 100%. All right. That's have the you f- have you narrowed it? We haven't talked since uh, January 25th. <laughs> oh, he just answered. Wow. That was fast. Yeah. He said, yeah. Perfect. Let's go. All right. Dave's going to Portland. Let's go. To be hysterical if you just ruin something. <sighs> oh, hope I didn't. <laughs> really hope I didn't. Hope I didn't. Watch is gonna answer back. Yeah, but don't tell anyone anything. It'd be so funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Dave's there. That'll be good. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Who else? I think the Drip Lord's gonna be there. You ever met him? Um, yeah, I think I did on the way to. Um, wait, I might have met the Drip actually. John Warren, the faucet. Yes, I met him on um, Delaware. Weren't we walking in? And no, met, he wasn't in Delaware. Who the hell did I meet in Delaware? Could have sworn I met. Was it Justin the Drip? Yes, that's a different Drip. Yeah, Justin. That's the guy from Florida. Yeah, yeah, this guy that one. Montante took the kids to the concert. You're right. <laughs> it's still just such a funny story. <laughs> it really is. Like that is Justin the Drip's a nice guy too. He, he's he's supportive of the show. You think Montante's hanging out with the the guy still? The minute fan friend he's made, hundred percent. That's great. Yeah, hundred percent. No, I, I picture the minute Montante's girlfriend goes out and, like, going? and does something, he calls him up and he's like, "Hey, come on over," because he lives, I think, the next building. The next. Yeah. Do you know. think he's going, Montante? No, or his friend. His friend. Probably. They're probably growing up together. Wonder, they're probably going if, up together. He's gonna go. Yeah, they're probably best friends. I could. I could tell <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody's drive you're interested in. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. What did Coleman? Jesus Christ. Is that going to be Coleman's first question? It'd be so funny. It'd Tell be funny. Mama K and Bristol <laughs> car ride. Oh, my goodness. That was so funny. And he didn't move off it either. No, it was Kurt so was like, funny. are you fucking serious? Like, you shut up. Like, no, that's what I want to know. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have something that came to me. You know, I- I've been thinking about this for a while because people know that Menners is someone that I deeply care about. I, I do. I care about him. And I went a little strong on the show on Monday. When I was like, fuck the network, fuck that other network, <laughs> you know, fuck those people, they're rats, we don't need them, blah, blah, blah. Maybe a little strong, but I, I don't really, I don't like to do the neutral stuff. I, I don't do well playing neutral. I like to do one side or the other. And I'm not saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm right about it, but I just don't do well doing the neutral thing. So I'm trying here. So I'm trying to see why men are in this frustration, why he's doing this and why he sounds like such a psychopath. I think he just has major FOMO about these live shows and these big events and these big yeah. weekends. Because if you go back to about a year ago around this time when they did the Portland show, he was doing the same crap. He was doing the same crap. It's a cycle. Was, yes. Yeah, this is a pattern of behavior. And then I, then I thought, I'm like, what was, He's the, sociopathic. What, was, what was the other big, big theater show that was like anticipated for a long time? The Wilbur. He was at the Wilbur. So he didn't, ha- he didn't have an opportunity to do this. He was happy. It was like, it was the Menor's trip to America. It was all this. Mm. Menor's just, I think he gets frustrated because he can't be here. Which again, it's hard for me to hate. It's, it's so that. hard for me to yeah, hate, yeah, yeah. but it's true. I think his biggest frustration is the fact that he just can't be here. I'm a manager guy. Yeah, I'm a little worried about him though. I am. I'm a little worried about this. Is killing him. <laughs> it's killing him, dude. I'm telling you, it's it's his. It, they're having like a watch party with people who <laughs> can't go on Saturday. Like you know what I mean? It's like this guy. He's he's losing it. What do you mean they're doing a watch party? Not a watch party, but they're doing some sort of stream together. Okay. For people that gotcha, can't make, gotcha. you know, yeah. So people are feeling lonely. I think that's what his tweet was. Mm. Yeah. I mean, anytime you tweet, it's, he's, he's pretty made it. I think he's 
kind of definitive about it not being pay-per-view. I don't think he's moving off that. <sighs> you know, he, he's he it is what it is. It's called. It's his call. What you think it should be? You think it should be pay-per-view? I don't know. Do you? I wouldn't care. I mean, it would it doesn't never, really make it a would, difference. It would never bother me, whatever he wanted to do. But like, yeah. I don't know. I, I guess I get if there are people like, I don't know. We're all coming out the day before if they want to make it exclusive to them. If people are like, yeah, you know, I think it's kind of the cool thing about going to a KMS live show at times. You don't know if like we weren't sure if the Delaware audio was going to get released. Yeah, I was hoping potentially it wasn't because I was called just that night. Oh, that was yeah. right. And I was like, oh, that'd be sweet if that one doesn't. Dude, get I was out. sweating. Oh, that phone call was legit. That was. I was nervous. That, that could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. That could have gone a lot worse. What What's the worst thing your girlfriend can say in that situation? I don't know. I have no idea. I I, I was I, his dick's tiny. Yeah, whatever. Just like <laughs> you know like what that. I mean, something yeah. stupid. But I was like, what is she gonna say right now? Nah, that was that could have been really bad. She's like, well, there is one thing. I was like, what? Oh I no, know. what is I this know. about to be? It's like this could be good. There but is. You know what? You You are sociopathic. You walk on your tippy toes. She wasn't lying. That wasn't a lie, by the way. Yeah, people. no, I do, I do. But that's yeah. probably why I have huge calves. Probably. Yeah. Big calf guy. No man. That's right. That's where I hit the ball just like him. Yeah. Uh, shout out John Scranton, by the way. I tweeted this. I just started the tweet. Um, he's been doing a lot of behind the scenes work. Yeah, he's a, beast. a lot of stuff. Setting up streams for people, just not even without asking. You know, what I mean, he sent me the set up our Beyond Average StreamYard thing today. He's the man. Yeah. Love John. Love all your help. And I know manners that hurts. You know, that hurts to hear. Because that's his guy. That's his protege. That's, that was, you know, John started under Menners, and he's just now running the big network. That's basically like. Are you trying to rub it in right now? Are you trying to start by saying you are you 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 you're just trying yeah. to. Who, who, dude, trying to think who would be it'd be like whoever like uh you know like sean mcveigh took over for it'd be like that that's pretty much just what happened like the old dog was there now it's this new young hip guy who's coming in new Jeez. innovations yeah that's exactly right that's tough you gotta feel bad for menace saying uh, he's doing a better job what's that you're saying he's even doing a better job without even it's not comparable <laughs> honestly it's really not because you menace got mad at me because i sent him a big file Okay. Granted, it was bigger than Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, trying to <laughs> download a video game, but sure, I, I get that. But like, but you could have done it yourself. And I could, have, and it, that would have been an easy solution to fix. I, I didn't realize how big it was when I sent it to him, and I, it sent no problem for me. So again, that maybe the internet's not great in Australia. Maybe he has trouble uploading stuff. We again, we it, the biggest frustration. He's just not here. If Menners was here, none of this would be happening. How do you even get internet down there? I don't know. You know? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Keep around that. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about Otani. Let's 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 do that. Oh, right now. your your guy because Nick I think he is innocent. I I'm now obsessed with the story. Yeah, well, you're like I've you're I've now I've, I've now read uh, articles in different languages and translated <laughs> them. I'm I'm getting the full scoop from you. Full AI, AI working yeah. on it. So let me run through a little timeline for the people. So what it, what's he accused of right now? I mean, there's the basics, right? He's basically getting accused of bailing his friend translator out uh, of a gambling debt that was illegal. Sure. Guy, it, well, well, again, this is what he's accused of. Mm -hmm. You jumped the gun quick on this. Mm -hmm. He's accused of it. And the guy was gambling legally through this bookie in California. It's not like illegally using, or legally. Or illegally. Yeah. Yeah. You can't you can't do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we weren't sure because originally, like it it's it sounds like just off the top, it, it sounds like it, the athlete's getting scammed by the con artist. Just if you know nothing about the story. But then if you go into it and you're like, this guy's best friends with him. They live together. They've known each other since 2013. Uh, when Otani came to America in 2018, he made sure that he brought him with him. He like he made that clear to the angels, like You're, he's going to be my translator. Well, he's in on it, right? Uh, the translator Mizuharu, he he meets this guy Boyer, the guy, the bookie, in 2021 mm -hmm. after he's already been gambling. He's been gambling illegally, uh, no, well, uh, gambling legally, excuse me, mm -hmm. through um, like DraftKings, FanDuel accounts, crap like that. Meets this guy. And starts gambling illegally because he's a bookie through him and his books. This guy gets wind that he's Otani's guy, and they start upping the the limits, essentially because now this is where it gets a little dicey because people say, "Does this guy think that Otani's in on it as well, or is this guy saying let me up the limits in hopes that Otani's best friend gets in trouble, then Otani has to bail him out, then I have Otani." So is this the scheme by the guy Boyer? taking advantage of a interpreter who knows nothing or is this all a big scheme from Otani and the interpreter to try to make money off gambling? I think he's all in on it. You think Otani and the interpreter are trying to make money off gambling? Uh, no, through, I'm not necessarily through the interpreter. No, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm saying that there's something bigger than just his buddy was in a gambling debt and he tried to bail him out. 
There's more to the story than just that. Okay, so yeah, the the debt the debt goes up to four and a half million. This Mizuharu guy, who's Otani's translator, goes up. Uh, I think four point three million is what he's in debt for. The reported amount is somewhere along the lines of September and October of 2023. A million dollars is sent to this guy Boyer under Otani's name under a wire transfer from Otani's bank account. Two separate payments, two five hundred thousand dollar payments, and this was weird to me because. If it's four and a half million, then it sounds like this was just the first of like a ransom payment almost where it's like, hey, if you don't pay this by this day, we're going to release the story. Yeah. Something like does that sound crazy. I mean, it is. Yeah. Because if you're, if you're the bookie, if you're, if you're the bookie and you now have Shohei Otani paying off a gambling debt, you have everything you need to basically extort this guy. Yeah. I mean, you have everything you need. Also, an easy story for Otani to be like, yeah, this is just me getting extorted. I definitely didn't. My, my bank account definitely wasn't me making payments to a bookie that I made payments on. Right. So let me just get up to date so people know. In uh, what, October of 2023, the bookie Boyer is home is raided and they find the evidence of the bank, the, the wire transfer. Hank. That's brutal. Hold on one sec. You good? Um, so already they they raid the bookie's house and they find evidence of the wire transfer. They find the documents and they find out that that's Otani's bank account. Immediately the feds are like, why show Otani? Why is it why is his bank account to this bookie? Oh, I don't know. It's my interpreter. I so <laughs> right. Wow. So so then it's like Fall guy. That that's that's October of 2023. A month later, he signs the huge deal, 10 year, 700 million. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, first of all, did, did they just sit on that because he was in like a contract negotiation? And like, do they did, did Otani know about this then? Did anybody know about this? Or in the or the Fed's the only people that knew about this? No, no, more more than just the Fed. Baseball knew, it, probably. Somebody, I, I have a hard. The story's time. bigger than it is. I feel like than it's been. There's something, there's something weird going on. Yeah. Like if it's teammates saying that he's weird, bizarre, like his girlfriend didn't even exist. And all of a sudden they got married. And after he announced it in like a weekend randomly, they were like, we right. thought he was single the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? Right. Like he's just, he's a weird guy that uh, comes out of nowhere with this interpreter. And now all of a okay, sudden so, so shit goes south. And now he's like, oh, real quick. You know, real what, quick. it was just my interpreter. Actually, this is all him, a rogue guy doing it all by himself. Real quick too. I actually had one detail wrong. Um, it was, they raided his home in October of 2023. They didn't find out Otani's involvement until January of this year. So Otani signs of December of last year. So just 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 for I just want to make that clear. That's what the story says. It's from Yahoo Sports. Um, so yeah, they they raided him, and once they found out Otani was involved, then they launched like an investigation and they spoke to Mizaharu, his translator, on March 19th. ESPN contacts the translator when uh, LA is playing their first game of the year, what a week and a half ago, they were playing the season series in Korea. I remember yeah, the game we was watching. on at like six in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were watching. That's right. right. So they come up to Mizahara, who wasn't there. He's he's back in America. Yeah. They come up to the translator and they tell him what's going on. They they tell him they get wind of the story. You know, you have a gambling debt through the guy. So clearly, either the bookie leaked the story in efforts to get more money to to extort Otani. Like, what what what's the bookie's goal here to leak the story other than to? He get told money? them. He told them, "Hey, give me the fucking money you owe me, or I'm leaking the story. This is how this goes." What, you don't know that you can't gamble illegally? Bullshit. You know what's going to happen here. I have a fucking wire transfer from your bank account to me. Mm -hmm. Pay me my fucking money you owe me, or this story goes wide. Didn't right. pay. Gave him the money. He's probably like, hey, give this for now. Shut him up for a little while. Like you said, it's been going on since 2023. <clears throat> so I'm sure he. this isn't the first part of the extortion of him starting to get loud. And I'm sure he's like, all right, no more. you're not going to pay me the, the final payment? Here you go. Right. Here's the final story to wherever they gave it to. Who broke it? So ESPN sits down with him for 90 minutes in betting. <laughs> I want people to know that I did not think this was illegal. I learned my lesson the hard way. I will never do sports betting again. Later, the Otani camp claims that this was done under the trans. So they were getting translated this too. Yep. So they, they were being told that they didn't really realize the severity of the situation. Again, do you believe any of that? I, I'll say this. This guy sounds like. I think what this happened. Guy sounds is, like he's talked to Chris Carter. I think what happened was this came out here. And they were never supposed to, this guy was never supposed to admit that Otani paid for it. And once he admitted that, then everything's now like, oh, dude, what the fuck did you just do? I think there's just more to it. Because even there's if, more to him just even making if a mistake yeah, but, and trying but, but, to bail out his friend. Hold on, though, hold on, hold on. Even if it's the, say they're in it on together and they're going to use this guy as the fall guy. Him saying Otani did it himself 
That's so much different than being like, yeah, I stole Otani's information. Yeah, but his story it. changed immediately when but, all of a sudden he was like, all right, so, Otani's so that's, like, hey, chill that's out. That's my point. Chill out, the, be the fall guy, and we hook you up after. And he but, goes, yeah, you're right. You can't mind. be the fall guy when you've already came up beforehand and said Otani did it. We'll under see. His, How can you be a fall guy? We'll see. You're like, dude, you did it. We'll see. He Because he's, he's changed his story now. No, saying, he changed his story because, again, it, because it doesn't fit for them. Yeah, well, but how of his story's fitting? This, fit, this, fit, this makes the most sense. His friend helping him. That's not that crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, yes, it is. It would be crazy. That's and, not and that if your crazy friend came up to you, the guy that pays your salary, you're, and, and he was like, hey, uh, I need you to help pay my gambling debt. You're like, okay, how much? And he's like, it's four and a half million. You'd be like, where did you get four? I pay your salary. You don't make that. What the fuck do you get four and a half million to bet on? And he's like, uh, you'd immediately be like, hold on. Before I pay anything, if this guy is so close to me, lives with me, knows all my finances, does all my contracting and everything, right. the first thing I'm doing is looking at my bank account to see if he's taking any money out of it. Mm -hmm. And you're saying he hasn't? Uh, well, from what the rumor said, has is that the only money that came out of his account was the money that Otani willingly took out and put in. Yes. Yeah. I, he I transferred mean, it himself. I mean, that's what that's the, story the only said. money? He that's, can steal any other money? That's that, the only that's, money that's, that. Yeah, according to this, yeah. They were, they were seen together the day the story broke <laughs> when it actually really got out. They were seen smiling together and hanging out. So it's not like they like. He so he hasn't stolen anything from Otani. That, uh, according to this. Uh, or, 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 or. Do you think so? You now you, well. Originally, it was he. Uh, according to this guy, Shohei did it himself, trying to help him. And now this 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 guy was trying to extort Shohei or trying to steal the money from Shohei. Who's saying that he was stealing? That's the new report. Isn't that what they're trying to spin? They're trying to make this guy the fall guy. Well, I don't they're know. They're trying That's to hit like a rogue like guy because because this is what I don't get too. This is why they're, they're trying to make this this translator out as a bad actor. And they're saying like, oh, he lied about his involvement with the Red Sox back in two thousand eight. Yeah, right. They said that he. So yeah, this guy has claimed to. This guy claimed to have told the bookie, Otani's translator, uh, Mizuharu, is alleged to tell the bookie that he, to, to show credibility on who he is, that he was Hideki Okajima's translator as well for the Red Sox <laughs> in 2008. And it, it's just like, that to me sounds like, that's the stupidest criminal in the world, it, which makes me think, that doesn't sound like a real detail, which makes me think somebody put that there, yeah. which makes me think, are they trying to make this guy the fall guy? <laughs> like, are they trying to put this guy as the fall guy because Otani bailed him out? Like, say Otani bails him out because he's his friend and nothing else. Say this guy doesn't. And the MLB just wants the story to go away. So they're like, this is the guy. This is the guy. And the this MLB, the, the last thing, everything changes. He's the only star that they've ever had right now. <laughs> everything changes is if they find out Mizuharu, Otani's translator, bet on baseball. Now, right now, there's no bets being placed on baseball. Everybody's under the assumption that they're just betting on other sports, horse racing, whatever, right? Crap like Four that. Four and a half million. I doubt it. I bet your baseball's in there. So, so that was one of the points that I heard. Especially Carabas inside pod, information. Carabas' uh, podcast, they were talking about it. No chance. He said, he was like, if this guy's a degenerate where he's racking up a four and a half million yeah. dollar bill, you don't think one time he throws a parlay and the Yankees are in it? Or not, something just, ran, just not, a random. It's not even just that, but like he's going to have inside information on like upcoming well, well, that's different. who's playing, pitching, That's who's so injured. much different. That's, that's, that's Otani being involved. Well, then there might be something like that. Then that's a big scam. Yeah. Yeah, I think the minute there's baseball involved, you're fucked. You're like, not gonna like, what, like, oh, like if if it's just Otani, if he's like, hey, you know, like who's who's you know injured or what's coming up, you know, if anybody's gonna be bad, like anything I can make an early bet on. Yeah, and he does it, and he's like, Otani's like, yeah, whatever. Like I didn't get told I couldn't do anything like that, mm -hmm. and he makes the bet, and then he goes, it, he goes way into debt, and he pays him out after because he's trying to bail him out. That's a hell of a story it, that makes Otani look. I mean, I don't know if innocent is the right word, but at, at the worst, negligent. Okay, but it, it, this is where I think everything changed because if he didn't admit to Otani doing this, they could just say this guy did this, you know, without Otani knowing. But now they can't say that because this guy came out beforehand and told everybody that Otani did it and nobody questioned it and everybody, it was whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Why. time will tell. You know, time it, will tell. I, I, I don't, I, it's just hard to, it's hard to see it. And now, uh, March 20th happens this is last week. They they launched like a the Dodgers. They had a game. I think it was their last game. The MLB the launched an official investigation. Now, the, right? the, the story came out basically and they said the Dodgers got wind of it. They told everybody you know, negative stories coming in the clubhouse, blah, blah, blah. Otani doesn't interview, doesn't really take questions, just kind of makes a big statement and, you know, they translate and all that. And the day later, no comment. Yeah. So now he's gone dark. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but what I do know is there's absolutely no chance that Nobody, no, there's no chance that he did this and the, the, his team found out and they thought that like, okay, you're just trying to help your friend. No big deal. Like they knew right away that this is a huge deal. And that's why I think the naiveness of like, oh, we didn't know. Is that a word? Naiveness? I think. Then, yeah. Being that naive, I guess that's probably what it is. 
to think that like the best, the, the best lawyers in the world, the best team in the world, the, who have the best athlete, Notani, like they wouldn't know that gambling in California, you, you can't do it through a bookie. And you, you, like, there's just no way. There's absolutely no way they wouldn't agree to send money to an illegal bookie ever. Yeah. Under his name, under he, his bank. They just wouldn't do it. I like, guess. Why would you do You would no, no lawyer in the world would tell you to do that. Yeah. But you know what? If he's dumb enough to do that, then I think he is dumb enough to give him insider tips on, on right. what's going on. Right. So he might have been more involvement in that way. So, so could this be a scenario where Otani doesn't realize like what he's doing? He's negligent. So you don't believe negligent. that, though, right? You're saying you're like you're saying there's absolutely no chance in that. And what I'm you're, saying either, but that it, being negligent still means you're responsible. I guess, yeah. I guess like you, you don't see a world where he doesn't realize what like. It's tough to say. Like, I guess, yeah, it, it's tough because like, what if, what if, what if like he was like just mention some like there's guarantee i guarantee you the best friends of these athletes know more about the teams than we do yeah i'm not saying they know everything yeah. but they hear shit faster than we do I, especially like if, joe like, rogan talking about fighting and stuff right especially if tips. it was my cousin yeah. if it was somebody who i trusted like yeah. i would i would just if i just mentioned it oh yeah he's fucking he's not pitching yeah. he's got a bruised elbow we're gonna kill these guys yeah this guy stinks oh my god yeah. dude, we hit the curveball whatever yeah. right? you know, like not, is that is that insider information yes it right. is because if he takes that and he profits off that, that's yeah, technically giving his guy and he's making him he's continuously feeding him leads. It probably means you're you're basically betting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they consider that. Is that? <laughs> I don't know. Can a tiny make his own betting show? But like, hey, guys, this is the bets you need to make this week. No, no, of course not. <laughs> I just think every, right now there's there no proof of them betting on baseball, so it's th that that's a different angle. Stuff like this is going to happen more and more with what's going on. Hundred percent because this athletes, is the tip of the iceberg. Athletes are so stupid yeah. and they get they get. Do you think like in Toronto? No, what happened there? The guy in Toronto Raptors. He's no. he just got caught making bets. What did he do? Uh, he, was he, he making bets on the NBA? Uh, yeah. That's what the rule was. How how do these guys get? What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, is it insane? What are you doing? I just don't get it. it can't be worth it. Like, how mean, much are you betting for it to be worth it? Like your game checks, what fifty grand? If you're a low level guy, how many games you play? Eighty two. I don't know what eighty two times fifty is, but. I don't even know what your game check is, but it's probably there is no decent. low level guy in the NBA anymore. Yeah, but they all make like four million dollars. Yeah, like, even yeah. So what's four? Yeah, four million like, divided by eighty two is what? I don't know, but it's a lot. <laughs> like you don't need money. Like the only time you fuck up is I mean the only time I think you need money is when you fuck up. Yeah, which is why I thought maybe which is why I think this guy who originally the 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 bookie who finds out that this guy is working with Otani, I think his his eyes light up and he's like, oh, this is perfect. You're Troy Otani's guy. You're like his literally his guy. Like this is all yeah. we have to do is get this guy to rack up a debt. Yeah. Oh, you want a bigger limit? No problem. You can have any much. I mean, he had him by the balls the second he sent the wire. And he the had him by the ball. No, he had him by. Oh well, yeah, he had him by the balls. When he did the, that. Once the, the money was, was sent, like, yeah. all right, now you're fucked. Yeah. Once the money was sent from Otani's account to the bookie, that's when everything changed. Yeah. And if there is, if there's betting on baseball, <laughs> they're gonna have to suspend him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there's. I mean, he's the best player in the world. He's the most might, marketable yeah, player in the world. Jordan it. Like uh, you know what is uh, yeah you're saying that turns out turns out his elbow actually he can't come back early even for hitting he's actually going to be taking a full year off <sighs> I don't know man he's injured now yeah, yeah imagine Chinese injured imagine yeah well yeah, that's why he's not pitching this year he's getting Tommy John that's what I'm saying yeah and yeah, they're gonna sell that as the story of he, uh, he actually can't hit we don't want to risk it no they, he's they yeah, can't he's do it now injured, yeah. they can't do it now <laughs> uh what about P Diddy let's see let's jump into that oh the diddler. the diddler what is going on that's your guy you love P Diddler right. Huge P. Diddy are you are you a P. Diddy guy? Huge P. Diddy like guy. Uh, you know, what? I actually loved one of his songs when that we were when we were mad young. Which I one? I don't know. I can't remember, but I came during one of the the amuser or whatever. I remember being a kid and watching it, mm -hmm. and he performed to like I don't remember. I couldn't remember even who who it was with, but it's one of my favorite things as a child. It was that thing. Mm -hmm. Something just stuck in my head. Well, it's like do you did you ever see Michael Jackson's? Uh, what was that movie he was in when we were younger? It's the movie he did. I was afraid of Michael Jackson as a kid. Yeah, me too, a little bit. But that was like I remember watching that movie, and I don't know. I was like, "What movie did he do? He did like a fucking Bring that thing closer. He did, yeah, he did some kind of movie thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, look it up, Michael Jackson's movie. He did a is it called Thriller? Well, that's a music video. I, well, I'm aware of that, but he did a movie like a full thing. Michael Jackson movie. What do you got? Mm, yeah, Thriller. Yeah, so it was a full movie well, no, too, right? It was 45 minutes, so it was like a... Okay, so that's yeah. what it was. I just watched the full special of Thriller gotcha. as a child and thought it was a movie. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, yeah, I was I was afraid of him as a kid. Good instincts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like the looks of him. And I think it was probably a scary movie the, when they mock him and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was probably something to do with it. You think he raped like, those kids? Oh, you fucked Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin claims no. Well, sure, but... So does Corey Fetterman. You sure. know, remember that guy? Sure. All of them. He was early on the They're loyal. Hollywood. They're ride rapists. or die. Who was? These guys. You rate them good is what you're saying. Yeah, they like them. I'm not saying that. Well, you're I'm doing not, Dave Chappelle. 
Michael Jackson yeah, yeah. sucked my dick. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? They'd be, they're proud of it. Come on. <laughs> no. He's I like, know. you know how cool you'd be? You return to school and Michael Jackson yeah. sucked your yeah. dick. You're the coolest. <laughs> uh, do you think P. Diddy, it, it, they were, Kirk was joking about it. Do you think he's going to pull like a Roman Polanski and never come back? Because he was like, flee, he fled, they fled the country, right? Is that what they're claiming? He's gone, right? I think he's in the Bahamas right now. That's nuts. But then they, the feds found him on the Termac. What was and he, they grabbed they grabbed his cell phone and a couple other things. And then he was like, all right, take it. And what, left. what was the what was that guy? Um, what was the name you just said? Roman what? Roman Polanski. Yeah. What what did he do exactly? He's a rapist. Yeah. What, did, what was his accusations and everything? Like what? He's he had not, children. He can't even come back here, right? Because he's I think, like. I think, yeah. I think he banged like a 13 year old. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, actually. Let me look it up. But it's, it's definitely something like that. Didn't Woody Allen? Yeah, but that came away after. This happened. Like, was it his kid? Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. What did he do? Oh, yes. Yeah, he drugged her and raped her. Okay. So, yeah. Bad guy. Confirmed bad guy. That was in 1977. Friend of Diddy. Friend of Weinstein. I would imagine so. Friend of LeBron. LeBron comes up. That's not good. That is not good. LeBron saying. Everybody knows Diddy is the best party. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. Brother Al's idol, if anybody's wondering. Brother Al's the biggest P. Diddy fan out of anybody I know. I'm not joking. (laughs) I'm being dead serious. I don't know that many P. Diddy fans, but like Brother Al loves himself some P. Diddy. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why does he? It's not even like. It's not even like he grew up listening to him either. He just took this news like like when, when Kobe died. For me, it was the same thing. You're right. It was weird. You're right. He his favorite movie of all time is Get Him to the Greek. Just because P. Diddy's in it. What, you know what's funny about that? It's I was like, talking about that at work. Uh, they have a real Diddy scene in that. He drugs everybody up when they're at the party. And he's yeah. like, has everybody That's have right. an orgy. Oh my it's, God. All, it's, it's a legitimate Diddy party that they put in the movie. The, it's it's so, very bizarre. When they mentioned the good of the Greek, I was like, oh, I hope they talk about it on the show. But they didn't actually mention. They have the a actual scene. Diddy they scene do. in it. Yeah. They do. They have a scene. Jonah right? Hill's getting raped by the girl in the bathroom. And they're all fucked up. Everybody's, everybody's fucked, up, fucked right? up on, on the water. On the, yeah. He's like rubbing the fucking wall. Oh and he's like, this God. is like 70s pussy. This they're is all crazy. fucked up. Yeah. This is, this is like the Simpsons. Yeah. He's predicting it. Not even wow. predicting. He was just openly telling everybody this is what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. I saw an interview where he was getting, he's on the Breakfast Club. <clears throat> Not the Breakfast Club. It was on, I forget what it was, uh, Drink Champs with Nori. And Jada Kiss and Fabulous were there. And he, he gets drunk. They, they <laughs> get, he, he gets really, really Jada. That was pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Um, he gets really, really drunk and he starts calling Fabulous like daddy. And, oh, and Fabulous that, looks yeah. at him like you could just, him and Jada Kiss are both just like. Same with Meek Mill, right? They're just like, what the hell? There's it a video was, of Meek Mill doing it too. A different one. Yeah, Meek Mill I've seen in a different one. But that was Like one, a pool swimming and calling him daddy or something? This one I saw, it was just everybody at, everybody at the table has got a little uncomfortable because it was like, okay. And then the host starts like, oh, what do we have next here? <laughs> and he's like going through the notes, dude. And then finally, like he looks over at Fabulous and he's like, we gotta get this back on the rails here, and it's kind of like it's so it is so <laughs> awkward because P Diddy's the most powerful guy in the room. Yeah. He's the richest guy in the room. He he probably helped everybody there. If that, like he's the alpha in the room, yeah. but everybody's like, what the fuck is going on with this freak right now? Like, I don't know. P, P Diddy is uh, I, it's been rumored forever that he's been a creep, and I thought it was just like it's rumor forever that he killed Big. Well, yeah, that's well, been like well, the rumor forever. I mean, he, did. he did. Well, they arrested that guy that was involved in that. Like he got him killed a few months ago, him. right? What? Remember, like a few months ago, there was a lot of talk that that was Tupac. I thought that was Tupac's killer. Oh, maybe it was Tupac. You're right. But that was that was right. that was the same thing. I mean, that's that's P Diddy. P Diddy did that too. Did both. Yeah, P Diddy Probably. said that they were giving Tupac money for the verse. That so P Diddy was Biggie's manager. Everybody knows this. P, P Diddy was told that uh, in, in order to try and squash the beef later on, they had Tupac do a verse with Biggie, but not in the same area. So Tupac comes to pick up the money later on in life, and P Diddy sets him up. It's at the studio where the um, you know some apartment where the studio is. P Diddy sees him. They do a good job of this in the movie. Actually, notorious. The, the movie itself sucks, but the uh, scene they show P Diddy and Little C's yelling from the top of the building because they see Tupac pull up. Little does Tupac know that there's two armed gunmen in the lobby, and so people are like, "Well, P Diddy, that's P Diddy's fucking studio." <laughs> like, how, how old were you... we when Notorious came out? I, why are you saying that sucked? I feel like I the movie that stunk. Movie. Really? Yeah, the movie stunk. How old was I then? I must have been young. Uh, if I liked it. And you're saying it stunk because I'm like, oh, that was a good one. 2009. So I, I was like a junior. No, I was like a sophomore or something. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I was a freshman in high school. I masturbated to it. I remember that. Which scene? The little Kim. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Little Kim. She, yeah. I mean, dude, she, she is. Someone just put in the chat. Little Kim's the real victim here. I agree. Yeah. Little Kim is the real victim here. I couldn't agree more. It's very true. Um, but no, and then and then uh, Kid Cudi claimed a while back. Do you remember this? Do you remember this whole thing? No. 
Kid Cudi claimed that he had like evidence that P Diddy was like a freak and or they had, if they had something going on. And then P Diddy threatened to blow his car up. And like a month later, Kid Cudi's car blew up in huh. his driveway. And people were like, people don't realize this guy has like killed people. Yeah, I believe it. Well, the, the rumor is about killing people is Jay Z's the big one that's coming next. Everybody's saying that, that too, right? Yeah, everybody's yeah. claiming that Jay Z's up next. Yeah, they're saying that he's killed a bunch of people. <sighs> people just disappear near him. I mean, they're out there just raping people, killing people. Fifty Cent has been on this forever. He, he's been claiming that P Diddy. He's having a creep. feel down. This is oh, like, he's 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 taking a victory lap. I can imagine. Yeah, he, he certainly. What's is. funny is he's one of the few people that like can openly and nobody tries to fuck with. Because he's like, I've been saying this for ten years. 15 he's like, years. I'll kill anybody that tries to fuck. <laughs> he's like, he made a song it. on it called "Many Men," where he just announces <laughs> to everybody that people have attempted to put a hole in him, and he will kill anybody that tries to kill him. Yeah, he's pretty open about it. Yeah. 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 As a matter of fact, he actually announces that he's already killed people and will continue. Willingly. Willingly. Yeah. May, may get some enjoyment out of it. Who knows? You know? He'll put a hole in the motherfucker uh, dude, for 50, fucking with him. 50 is the man. 50 is the man. Um, all right. Let me get off this real quick. Before we before we go, I have I have a backup plan in life. If this broadcasting doesn't work out, remember people are wondering what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yes. I'm gonna open Lowe's? Up, huh? Lowe's? No, no. Mm. Lowe's. I'm opening up a pizza bar. A pizza bar? Yeah. What do you mean a pizza bar? Mixed pi- mix pizza bar. Mixed pizza bar. Mixed pizza bar. You mean like a uh, just a pizza spot that's got like a little bar in it? Not a little bar, nice bar. This is like a sports like a, bar. Yes. Not exactly. It, it's going to be a smaller restaurant. Pool tables. Let me get there. Okay. I was going to have a couple different things going on here. Okay. Um, I'm thinking like a 12, 14 seat bar. So you're um, giving this up? What? No, this, this. I, this is a backup plan. Okay. This is if my voice. Right. If, if somehow my voice goes and I can't use it. This is more of like a disabled type yes, deal. Yes, okay. Yes. And you physically can't do this. Not yes. Okay. And and specifically, this is, is, is if I live on the Cape because the Cape doesn't have too many of these spots. I First agree. of all, we don't have many good pizza spots. Second of all, nope. We have no good late night pizza spots. Correct. And third of all, we have no good bar pizza spots. Like we can go and hang out and just have pizza and watch a game. I agree. So that's a need. There's a, there's a demand here. For Name it. a sports bar <clears throat> around here. Yeah. I mean, there's Scally's. That's an Irish you pub. Know, you know what? I, uh, no. No. That's that's a nope. good spot. Nope. 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 Why? It's just not. I mean, it's it's got it's got cold beer and a bunch of TVs. That's no, it doesn't bar. anymore. What do you mean? It doesn't. Yes, it does. Scally's is not anymore. Yes, it does. No, it's not. Yes. When was the last time you were in there? Last summer. I was in there like last no, summer. No, it's, a, it's it's it, they they up it. used to be Red Face Jacks. Yeah, it was like was pool dump. tables. Yeah. and there was more TVs. You had to like wear like a bulletproof vest. Yeah, when you went in there. Yeah, you had to have a Harley. Hundred percent. Yeah, you, you had, had to, to be doing. Math. You. I was just gonna say, or like harder, like even harder <laughs> stuff. Yeah, harder than math. Something. Something. Really? Yeah. Something. <laughs> just something. Um, but no, I, uh, I. I think the Cape is in need of a nice pizza bar. I agree. Why? why would you go? You, would you, you be willing to go in on this with me? I went to a bar. Not that that's long. a no. I would. I would <laughs> absolutely. But I went to a bar that was actually shocking. I was like, oh, this is actually a decent sports bar for Cape. Where? Uh, in. You know where that merry-go-round thing used to be on Main Street? That old. It's a Ferris, not a Ferris wheel. The merry-go-round. It's a merry-go-round. The carousel. Yeah, is this helping? Yes. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know where that was on Main Street. On Main Street, you know that little thing used to have like a little mini arcade like in there? It was like a little... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, like, yeah, it's right in the middle. It's no longer there. That The the, fair, yeah. the merry-go-round is no longer yeah. there. But all the way in the back what is that building there. They changed into a bar. Really? And it has a bunch of TVs, giant TV in there. Like a, What's the name of it? I can't remember. Like, but they have a bar, Junior's Barbecue's in there. Junior Bats Barbecue. Is in there? That's like what does the catering of it, the food part of it. Wait, so it's just a it's a bar with separate food? Kind of, I think it's not called. Maybe it is called Junior Bets. Maybe I'm oh, just butchering it. Wait, but. are you talking about the like the beer garden place? The new yes. beer? Oh, okay, yes, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. That's not a bar. That's a beer garden. I don't know what, what it's the outdoor spot, right? Isn't only outside? No. Oh, so they have an indoor spot too? I don't think I'm talking about the beer garden, to be honest with you. Mm. Maybe I am. They have a new beer garden in Hyannis that yeah. I haven't checked out, but I saw people. Maybe that's what I'm there. talking about. But it was I was indoors and it had a massive TV with a bunch of other TVs. And I was like, oh, this is the only spot on uh, around here that I feel like has this. What uh I mean, I, I think yeah, yeah, I think you're out of frame <laughs> pulling a little bit. Oh, there you go. Um yeah. thanks, Don. Um I don't know, dude. I, I feel like, I feel like a good Cape sports bar would do pretty well. And like having it, having it open up like Oliver's around here is the, the only bar that I can think of. That's open late every single night, no matter what. Like, even if nobody's in there, they stay open. It's like their, their policy. They, they stay open until 1245 every night. Can't that's not there. even late. Can't go there. That's true. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, good point. But like we, 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 we're, we're in need of a nice pizza bar. And I feel like I could run a good ship. I feel like, I feel like that's something that I could actually do. 
Yeah. You I know, think it'd be dope. I think if it was, if it was, first of all, I'm not making any of the food. I got to have a chef. I'm, I got to have a you chef. Gotta have you got to have a pizza. I got to find some Italian kid that can whip up some pizza. No, you don't go Italian. What do you do? You go Greek. That's true. The Greeks yeah. know what they're doing. Uh, but I feel like as long as I get that down, everything else I could handle. From the bar. Yeah, I could handle like the ordering of the liquor. You think so? Like, yeah, because again, we're not going to do a giant thing. We're not doing a giant menu. We're not doing anything. We're, we're doing what we do well, and we're doing it for everybody, and we're doing it late night consistently. Like I'm already, I'm already selling it. This is like the this is like the the thirty and up crowd. This is like what everybody. This is yeah. Like we're, you're not going there on like uh to go and get like fucked up. Yeah. You're not going there to like pregame for you going out this crazy this is a beer weekend. after work. This is a beer after work, or even just like you know you're going through a tough time. You, just, you, you, you maybe you're bored one day and you're like I, I got shit going on. I just want to go watch a game and have a bar. You know, have this a place is that spot. third place thing. What do you mean? The third place. What's third place? You no, know, they claim that uh, that our generation didn't have three places that we only had work oh, at home. You it's in Starbucks, shit? right? That's the new one. I don't know. They all they, hang out there. Well, yeah, I guess so. But like the yeah. claim was like our parents, everybody that had a third place, but uh, our generation just grows up on our phones. So I was like, I, I disagree with that. I feel like our, my third place is like whatever hobby you do. Like yeah. I, whether it's at the golf course for me or the basketball court, like one of like you know like whatever hobby I'm at is the third place. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, it changes throughout the season. Uh, like the, the baseball field was my yeah. third place growing up. Yeah. We were always there. The hockey rink. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. And like, that's where all your friends were too. Yeah. That is. Yeah. So if you don't have a third place, it's because you don't have a hobby and you're a loser. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Um, you, I don't know. We got anything else? You want, you want to jump in anything else? Christ. Mm. This is, this is, I, I almost got as excited. I shouldn't say that. The, the most excited I've been recently is easily when I solved the Rubik's cube. This is the second most excited I've been since then. McDonald's has announced oh, yeah, that's right. that they are partnering with Krispy Kreme and they are back in Massachusetts. Exactly. This is, I mean, truly, truly, truly remarkable. Anytime I pass a Krispy Kreme, no matter where I travel, I promise you I'm stopping in and I am smacking an entire dozen glazed donuts by myself. You, no problem. When we went to Vegas, I, when, when I went anywhere, I've gone anywhere Kreme, I've gone with you in South Carolina and oh, Delaware and I mean, anywhere we go to you, dream of. And you know what? People and you have, tell people it's breakfast. You're like, no, we're going to yeah. get, we're going to get Krispy Kremes. I'm like, all right, well, I want to eat breakfast. You're like, we're going to get Krispy Kremes. Yes. Like, that's not breakfast. Like, I want like a meal. And you're like, no, I want a dozen donuts. Yeah. That's all I'm eating. Yeah. And you're going to wash like it down with, I'm going to wash it down with a fucking Red Bull. I was going to say disgusting. a Red Bull or chocolate milk is what I would probably be doing there. Yeah. I'm disgusting. But major league news. I don't know if anybody didn't know that if you're, I mean, whoever's in the area that doesn't have Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Your life is officially back in order. Like this is, this is like pre Harambe stuff. Like they're like, is that energy shifting? Like I said, if Mike Tyson knocks out Jake Paul, this resets the world order in a Thanos manner. And we go back to like 2011 somehow. Like we're just like back in a different feeling of, of the celebrity boxing, man. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying if Mike Tyson does it, he knocks out Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. We go pre Harambe. I think. I think we're pre around. He sets us back. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, get an update on our Huskies right now, real quick. You call them. They're up. They're up. They're up twelve right now. Up twelve. Yeah, they're gonna kill it. They're gonna probably win the whole thing, huh? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really been watching that much of it. So people tell me they've been I haven't watched they, a single minute, but people tell me they're they, winning it all. They've won every game, including last tournament and this tournament so far by double digits. They won last tournament. What's the last tournament? They won it all. Well, they're going to go back to back. Yeah, they have a to and they haven't back. had a game within ten points. It's the same uh, kids. Uh, I don't know. You're asking mm. me too many questions about the UConn Huskies. I don't know. Mm. All right, um, that's really all I got. You got anything yeah. else? No, just again. I'm happy for your Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme, thank you. That's uh, that's huge. That's it's going to be big time. I can't wait to have those in the house. Are you going to be now when you go to I'm nervous now when you go to McDonald's? This is, this is going to be really. I go to McDonald's for breakfast in the mornings now. You might now. This could. This could be, be terrible. This could be bad. This could be yeah, so now bad. That I'm thinking no about it. This could. Be I think. Really I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'll have to limit myself to like. Uh, I. I don't think I can handle being like, oh, you know, you can just have it like a couple times a week because it'll end up like five days a week. I think I have to say, Christian, Sunday select. No, that's even too close. I was gonna say you have to select one day a month. A month. Yeah, one day a month. Yeah, I'll take and the over. One day a month, and you get to eat. Just an entire box. You get to just box yourself full 12 donuts and you just get to do that every month. Once a month, you get 12 donuts and you get to just. Are you going to spread them out the week? No, one. One I'm day. I'm do one sitting. I think it'd be better. Oh, I can just gorge myself. It's disgusting. Because I, I, well, how many donuts, do you, I want to how do, many donuts do you think you could eat in one sitting? Of those? Yeah. Ooh. We have I, to do this. With marijuana involved? Yeah, we could use some PEDs. 
Yeah, if I get, if I can just get like, uh, I'm gonna give myself diabetes. I mean, I'm, I was gonna say, give, give me, me like a, a four pack of Red Bull. I think I could put down like three dozen donuts. Oh, okay. Easily. Wait a second. I think I could slap like three full. Dozens. You eat thirty six donuts. Yeah, I think I could do thirty six. Thirty six Krispy Kreme donuts in one sitting, dude. Joey Chestnut, I don't think can do that. What's his record? I'd probably puke from the sugar. I probably would have, like. What's the Krispy like Kreme record? Krispy Kreme donut eating record. Um, mm. c- competitive. Yeah, but you know what? They'll cheat. People will just take that and they'll squish it into like one tiny donut and like ha ha ha. That's ten. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um. No, no. Like, so they, they have like a contest. Everyone. They have a contest. Yeah, they smush them, right? They no, cheat. they have this one where they run. They do running afterwards too. No, I can't do that. I'm trying to find Joey Chestnut. He, he's got to have to do it, right? All right, Joey Chestnut, world's competitive eater, devoured 257 donuts. Yeah. What? Yeah, he got 200. I don't know if those were Krispy Kremes, though. Can't be. Too heavy. No chance. No, these are powdered. What? He ate 55 of them in eight minutes. How? I don't 50, know. What? 55 fucking donuts in eight minutes. Powdered. Do you get water? They get water, right? Dunk you, them? Water. you must. Do you just get rid of the powder? No, I don't think you, you can't do put that. that dryness in your mouth. I just can't even. I, how do you, you must do use, that? You must be able to use. You must be able to wash it down with something. You must. There's no chance. How many? So no you, cheating. Do your number. Your number is going to change now. No cheat. Yeah, Thirty six still. I don't think I could do more. In than eight that. minutes. In eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, what, can I, what can I put down in eight minutes? Yeah. Would be the thing. Yeah. I'm down to do this competition. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. All we'll right, do it. We'll do it next episode. Eight minutes, or whenever we can get our hands on some Krispy Kremes. Oh, it's been it's been since Vegas since I've had a Krispy Kreme. Perfect. I remember. Was did we did we stop in Delaware? Did we even pass one? No, we were on the wrong side we were of, on the wrong uh, side of the highway, right? And yeah. And I, I was, thought we tried. Yeah, we did. We tried to go, but um, yeah. No, that's perfect. We'll do one next episode. If they're back, I don't think I don't. Know. Are you sure? I'll be able to get my hands on them. Okay. Oh, we got you. We got a couple of days. We'll be good. Also, oddly enough, for mine, most people are like, "Oh, I like mine." If like if you if you got them um, store temperature, mm-hmm. like not fresh out of the oven. Mm-hmm. Most people be like, oh, heat it up for like 10 seconds. Mm. Polar opposite. Throw it in the fridge. I'd rather it a little chilled. Really? Yeah. Yep. I think I'm kind of with you because then it gets a little crispier. The I don't glaze. know. There's some kind of, yeah, there's the, the glaze. The, the gets... having, having warm glaze isn't that good. Having the crispy cold glaze yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I, Unless I, it's I, fresh out. A fresh out one is unbelievable. Unbelievable. These are, so how about this? I'm going to give you, I, I'm going to, I actually think that you'd like the Linda's the Linda's honey glaze don't better than disrespect Krispy Kreme ever again. Don't ever. Have you had Linda's donuts? No, I don't need to ever hear about Linda. No, Linda's donuts are so does good. Linda, does Linda have 500 stores? I didn't that's think so. That's a good point. Linda's not a franchise. So. That's a good point. I didn't think so. That's a good point. Is Linda's part in McDonald's? Didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. Does Shaq own them? I didn't think so. <laughs> All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Everybody, we will talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll see everybody in Portland. Come say hello if you see us. We're going to be there on Friday night at uh, Gritty's. Mike and the Minifans. Check that out. Uh, BA, is BA going to be there? I think BA is going to be there, but Blind Mike is hosting. But I think BA also is going to be there with Montante and whole cast of characters. Can't wait for that. And then the show on Saturday night. I think they're, I, th- I don't know what we're doing before the show. Do you know what we're doing before the show? Like our group of people? I have no idea. Because we got a, we got a good squad going up. I think there's like five of us. Five, six people going up together. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're doing before the show. So we'll do that. But eight o'clock show starts. Everybody will be there. And we will talk to you soon. What's the attire for the show, by the way? Remember that? Hawaiian. Okay, perfect. Wear Hawaiian. Talk to you soon.